I'm not a person who is good at talking. I'm always quiet and shy. But today, I really want to share with you my personal journey and how us has been helping me to become the person I am today. When I was small, I did not like to talk. I had difficulty in using verbal language for communication. I did not talk at all in school for several years. Even my teachers asked me questions. I did not respond, although I know the answer most of the time. Why? I have a very strange practice when I want to say something. I always need to see a well-organized sentence in my mind, and then I can read it, and then I can speak. It is just like you are using the word processing software in computer, and my sentence needs to go through the error checking process many, many times. So you can imagine how slow the process could be. And I had difficulty in joining in other people's conversation, answering questions, or to interact with people smoothly. And then I decided to keep silence all the time and avoid interacting with people. I think if I were taken to a medical diagnosis at that time, maybe I was diagnosed as having autistic features or selective mutism. But luckily, I was taken to dance. I have a lot to share. I have a lot of ideas and thoughts. And I want people to know I can do it at home because I'm more relaxed, but I had difficulty to do it in most of the social situations. But when I dance, it's just like a door is opened for me, and I can enter into a new world. In this world, I can express myself using body and movement. I can connect to people easier. And the world is so huge, and it is opened for me. And I feel like I can fly. So dance lists a secret space for me. This is the space that I can own completely by myself. I feel so safe in this secret space using movement and dance without caring about my verbal ability. I can explore, I can learn, I can calm my emotion, and I can connect to people in another way. And most importantly, I find myself. I can be myself, my true self. And I sense the beauty of the world. But this secret space is not completely separate from the reality. In fact, apart from the physical satisfaction and artistic entertainment, I get special bonus from arts. Because I spend time on dancing, I have to be more focused when I work or study. And dancing actually opens a lot of channels for me to learn and to perceive. I have to use my eyes to watch my teacher's demonstration, and then I work it out in my body. I have to listen to the music and rhythm and synchronize my movement with the melody. I have to memorize the step, and when I need to learn complicated steps, I have to analyze it 
and find alternative way to do it. It is just like I'm learning a lot of different ways to solve a problem. So when I look back today, dance is not only for leisure or entertainment for me. It helped me to work. It helped me to learn. So I keep dancing in my primary school, secondary school, undergraduate, postgraduate, until my PhD, and now. You may say that this is only my personal story, because many people still put arts in a lower priority rather than the formal academic work. But let me give you some examples how art can coexist with academic achievement. You know him? He's a Greek scientist, but he loved to play violin. He has said that if he were not a physicist, probably he would be a musician. I think many of you know Mona Lisa's eternal smile very well. But don't you know that the artist who created this Greek word was also very good at civil engineering, mechanical engineering, mathematics, anatomy, and a lot of other subjects. So this gives us important message about art is not only for leisure and entertainment. It can also help people to learn. It can have a lot of other impacts in many aspects in our lives. In fact, there are a lot of research evidence conducted in different countries showing that art engagement helps students to develop better mathematical skills, cognitive skills, and problem-solving skills. Recently, in Australia, there was a study on 643 students in 15 schools for two years. The study showed that students who engage in arts, they have better academic motivation, class participation, and more importantly, they found more meaning and purpose in life. And this is particularly important for local students because students in Hong Kong nowadays, they are undergoing great stress. Some of them lost the meaning of life and developed suicidal thoughts. Us may help them. It is very strange in our educational system we always hear about learning disabilities. The benefit for art, or the benefit from art, are for all students with different needs and abilities. If we use art, if we encourage them to do art, we thought working on verbal ability, cognitive ability. We can know they are all able to learn. So arts can help us to see a lot of different things. I have been a creative art therapist for 15 years. I have been working with children and adults with different abilities. I can see all of them can be benefited from art. So if we stop the error checking mechanism, if we stop focusing on the right or wrong, when we use art, we just allow the imagination and ideas to grow we can see a lot of possibility and ability. And in this secret space of us, we can be ourselves, and you can be you. And that is the ultimate beauty. So to end my talk, 
I would like to introduce a scene to you. This is from a novel, a martial arts novel, and the name is The Legend of Li's Flying Swall in Chinese, Xiu Lei Fei Dou, written by a Chinese writer, Gu Long. So in this novel, there is a hero called Mr. Fa, Fa Mun Lao. This hero is blind. He cannot see. But he always has a smile on his face and is always happy. So one day, a girl asked this man, why you are so happy? You cannot see at all. And the man smiled again and answered, have you ever heard the sound of snow falling onto the roof? Don't you think it is beautiful? Because he cannot see, he developed another talent and ability that is to listen. So in us, we can only find possibility, ability, and beauty. Thank you very much. <laughs>